Um, hi, my name is Lauren. Salam, my name is Liv. Salam, my name is Salmon. Salam, my name is Matt. Salam, I'm Sumaya. Salam, I'm Ryan. So when we when we first came to Morocco, I think the biggest thing that kind of surprised me was how friendly everybody was. Um, we took like Dirija lessons and we tried to learn as much about the culture as possible. And when we were speaking with people on the streets, they were very friendly, very helpful. Um, and so it really helped us kind of adjust. And when the first like week or two, it kind of just felt like home. And then when we got to Wujda, um, and we had the opportunity to go to the Muhammad I University and scan the artifacts, interact with the professors and work with Salma. Um, it was really, really interesting. It was really awesome. The professor was so helpful. We also reached out to another professional in Rabat. Everyone's just so willing to help us. Um, and it's just so cool working on a project where, you know, we can say that the skulls that we're scanning, the first evidence of brain surgery 12,000 years ago, like that's such a unique experience. Uh, and actually traveling to the cave and, and getting to see the things that we, we talked so much about before we got here has been an amazing experience. It's a very beautiful place. So uh, for the Fury staff and interacting with the uh, WPI students here in uh, in, uh, in Rishda, uh it's been really helpful to be honest. I learned a lot of things about like the scanning techniques. I, I had no idea of how would that go in the beginning. So uh, just watching and like uh, seeing how everybody works is good. Also um, the way you guys are organized, like I, li I like that. <laughs> how, how like each one just fits in, in his place like I, I like that about the team um, but it was like a really good couple of days uh, to interact with you guys also uh, this project I it's it's very important to me um, and uh, to, to to my region because it's like very helpful to the to the people here we chose to work with association passage because they allowed us through their project to apply our technical skills from university onto their more social science and archaeological project work. Um, the project also allowed us to go on site into the cave as well as into Ushda, as opposed to just staying in Rabat for our seven weeks to have a more authentic Moroccan experience. To prepare to come abroad, we actually made a whole proposal about what we were going to do once we got here. Um, that process included just a lot of doing research about the area, um, about Association Pachaze and what their project was and how we could help their project, as well as how we can apply um, our knowledge from college back at home to help them further their goals. We wanted to be in our background research situated as much in the Oriental region as we could. Um, so we looked at a lot of literature review, um, interviews with professors and researchers, um, as well as just having conversations with the, with the association. Okay, so for the project, uh, we took a bunch of photos of artifacts from a, a nearby small museum in the, the university and we took 360 photos of the area around the cave and we're currently using some softwares to convert these into a tour and some 3D models of the artifacts. So our plan is to take all this information data that we've collected here in Wushda, here in Wushda and in Rabat and put them online on a repository so anyone anywhere in the world can see this information and learn more about what's done in the region. And uh, we plan on also presenting Rabat at the UIR, or the International University of Rabat, uh, our findings and our experiences here in Wuzhda.